Hello everyone, this is Mike with Mike Gaming, and today we're playing a very special game, which is, I think, scary, no, I think, scary, but I don't know, it's called Poppy Playtime, hmm, okay, already getting to the freaking scary ass shit, that's already horrifying, look at that smile, let's put a smile on her face. Um, chapter one: A tight squeeze. As an ex-employee, ex-employee of Playtime Co., you're finally returned to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. Ooh, okay, new game. I haven't seen this game. I haven't played this game. People have been telling me to play this game, but ooh, there's a video. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Yes. Just watch. No. <laughs> Poppy Poppy's as lovable as a real girl. And she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it. And smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. What's the time? Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can What the fuck was that? Um, already when we were starting off with the whole poppy doll that showed up, that was goddamn creepy. Okay. Poppy playtime. Oh, everyone thinks the staff disappeared ten years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Eee, eee. No, uh, what do I do here? Okay. Oh fuck, where am I? Can I leave? Can I can I can I can I leave? Can I not leave? Oh I can run. Escape to pause. Okay. Hopefully everything is great and you guys can still hear me in this game. Gift shop. Welcome. Welcome. Sorry. That's just me. I don't like, you know, screw it. I just like, <laughs> I just like going over the counter. That's just me. What is this? How to pick things up? I, green tape. Green VCR. What did it say on it? Hi, my name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. What exactly am I doing in this factory? What am I doing here? I could just, you know, be sitting at home, doing nothing. He said there was motion sensors that trip that go off to the cops. And I take it, I don't want that to happen. E to interact, E to interact. Eater in. 
Okay, I'm pushing E, nothing happens. Poppy wants to play. Yeah, that's some horrifying shit. Oh, what's this? Staff only. Uh. Um. This is. Is it right here? Red, blue, red. Red, blue, red, yellow, yellow, blue. Oh, I can't do red again. It's a four key combination. Hmm. Is it on his face? No. Under the desk? No. Hopefully it wasn't on the tape. I'd be screwed. What is this? What is this? Age three plus. Boogie bot? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Boogie bot. Eat healthy like brawn. The hell's that noise? Oh, nice little train. Here's the boogie bot. That's cool. Let's see here. That's a huggy. Well, we can't even see it, it's all dark. Cash register. Ooh, there's a boogie. There's a boogie bot that got mangled. Hmm? Green, pink, yellow, red? That's the train colors. I'll try that. It is four. Green, pink, yellow, red. I'll go try that right now. Why did I come back here? How come his arms are so long? There's a green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Hmm. Thank you, train. Okay. I don't like this already. What does it say on it? Anything. Grab pack. What? Training. This is some creepy ass shit. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, what the what? Oh, no way. I got a chair. Can I retract? Whoa. I'm Scorpion. Get over here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Trash can? Oh yeah. Yay! That is cool. That is so cool. What the It's like it's like one of those uh uh gummy sticky hands. You get the gum, you slap it on something and it sticks. That kind of thing. That's what it reminds me of. Hmm. Where do I go now? Can I leave? Open the door. Oh, God damn. High five. Oh. Okay. okay. I can get over this. Okay. Ah. I already. Fuck no. 
<laughs> just the way he is, just goddamn creep. Look at that smile, dude. Look at that shit. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Welcome to playtime. Ooh. Huggy Wuggy, 1984. What the hell does that even say? Alright. Playco was, has designed hundreds of distinct toys, but none connected with the people more than the Huggy Wuggy. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, aimed to create the toy which could hug, your, hug you forever. As is always true, Playtime Co.'s four-step process to creating the most lifelike toys was a success. Oh, God. I can't even get him in there. With a bit of string and polyester, our lovable blue pal Huggy was brought to life. Huggy Wuggy was gone to Playtime Co.'s most popular and best-selling toy so far. Yep. Punch my nuts, because he's goddamn scary. Damn creepy some bitch. Look at his little figurines. That's creepy shit. Get that shit out of here. What the? That's creepy as hell. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Okay, where do I go? Blue hand again. Power. Power. Hmm. For a key now. I don't have two hands, only on one hand. Hmm. I don't know. Theater? Not the theater either. That's closed off. What is this? Testing? Ew, I don't want to go into testing. Okay, thank you, God. <laughs> Where the fuck? Um, that key was not there before. That key was not there. And I'm going to find out. Mm hmm. Hmm. We're still there. Alright, so what's going on in here? I'm in the power area. Oh, okay. Remember, do be kind to others. Show up on time. Not hide behind doors to scare my beer. <laughs> Don't. Stay past 8 p.m. This use company time. Tamper with machinery. Enter innovation without using authorization. Hmm. Were they putting people in it alls? Nope. What the fuck happened here? Another one of these dolls. says I can grab electrical conduits. Can I go this way with it? Okay. Oh, it lit up. Okay. I can go this way with it. Okay. Power's back on. Hmm. Now I can go with, try that hand. Did we? Um, if anyone's seeing right now, that goddamn creepy ass monster is gone. It's fucking gone. Huggy is gone. I already don't like it. Make a friend. 
cat candy yum eat what is up with the pink paws now hmm is that a painting of Huggy or is that Huggy fuck Christ Okay, that's a painting of Huggy. Because I don't trust him with a goddamn hammer. Hmm. Looks like parts. And a bee with no head on it. Hmm. There's a yellow tape somewhere. Was I supposed to find the tapes? That's not good. Hello? Apparently I got something. Oh, yeah. Handle with care. Shipment is highly fragile, do not drop. Playtime. Oh, yellow tape. All right. I just don't like this at all. E. He's going to pop out behind me somewhere. Okay, so Sony was getting fed up, totally fed up. I turn it up just a little more. What is that? What is that? What is that in that vent right there? What is that in that vent right there? Is that one of the pieces? Oh my God! It's fucking huggy. Come on, look at there's one. Is there three? Or is there four? Is there five? Just looking around. I don't see any others. I can go see where they go. Because there's a panel up there. I like that. See? Give me this. <laughs> it's Mr. Braun! Alright. I take you with me. Can you be my defense against Huggy Wuggy? That's gonna Huggy Wug me. Oh, there's four.
where's the fucking fourth? Oh, right by my feet. <laughs> what is that? What is this? How far did these go? Oh my god, that was Okay. Oh, it's the other hand. Ooh. E. Okay, how do we use the other hand? slow because I know he's behind me somewhere whoa power conduit ramp uh, let me see here ramp no ramp power conduit power conduit Okay. Go down here? Question mark. Oh shit, wrong side. <laughs> I think I gotta take it this way. Yeah, I have to take it that way. So No! I was going the right way the first time. Okay. Alright. Here and fuck. I'm not moving. I can't move. I can not even I can move my arms. Oh shit, what the It's raining parts. Look at Fuck am I now? I hear some creepy ass music. Uh, fostering happiness, adopt and orphan today. Strives to create permanency in life. That's good. They were for the orphans. That's good. Make a friend. How about no? Make a friend. 1960. was a visionary. Set the stage for all playtime clothes. Greatest features. Yet all the amazing things that he created. That make a friend machine is one of the most creative and impressive and advanced. Solely responsible for nearly every playtime code toy sold on the market this day. All it needs. Is to be fed the proper parts, and it will make a. And it will then paint, assemble, and do all quality inspection, and enjoy all on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting, oil bag breaking labor. The machine can do it all and more. And this is the machine. Can't go back there. Hmm. Oh, I can. What's down here? I can't even go down there. Hmm. Okay, so. What the hell do I do? Nobody leaves without a toy, so I gotta make a toy and put it there, I think. Can I pull this? What do I do? Oh. Needs power. Power lines run. Oh, stairs. I was following the power cables, I was like, where do I need to go? P. 
pink tape. Saw that lip. The music, the music is just fucking creepy. The music. Can you guys hear the music? That music, though. I, hmm, this is not gonna be good. I may have an idea. Where's the pink tape, for God's sakes? Hmm. I don't have a pink tape, unless I do, and I don't know where. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. There's the pink tape, right there. Oh, that one almost got away from me. What do you got? So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling, too. Sometimes, though, I really really wish I could go back to being a kid I mean and it's weird because adults are just kids but older I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult but your body just gets older and older and then you die what Oof. the fuck human bodies just can't stay young forever there's things though like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than the person I mean the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something. Right? Alright, I think we're getting a little off track. Okay, folks, this is taking a hard turn to the left, but I think I'm all out of time for this episode. Thank you for joining me in this adventure of Poppy's Playtime. I'll do another episode as soon as I can. I do appreciate you guys all for showing up and joining me on this adventure. And once again, everyone have a great day. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll do another video. Have a great day. Bye.